figured I'd make a short how-to video just to maybe help somebody out. Um, I'm about sick of dealing with uh, headlight and ballast issues on this Escalade here. I believe like the Yukons and other vehicles have similar issues, but um, they're known for getting moisture in the headlights. I don't know if they don't seal properly or whatever, but they get moisture in the headlights and it drains down and I'll show you in a minute, but the ballast is actually on the bottom of the of the lighting fixture and so all that water drains to the bottom and shorts out the ballast and so the ballast can be got pretty cheap uh, for around 30 bucks 25 whatever but um, the problem is is you constantly constantly have to change it and I've tried everything to try to seal these things up and we don't want to put cheap aftermarket uh, lenses in there because you kind of uh, just fitment OEM qualities you know always seems to be best and plus um, they are pretty pricey. So Anyways, what I'm finally going to do is we're just going to delete the HID and the ballast and just convert it to LED and so um, I'll show you here in a minute how to wire. It's very very simple. Anybody could really do it and uh, If you've had to deal with this and pay a couple hundred dollars to have somebody change this a couple times and you've had a similar issue this the, the LEDs are like 50 bucks and so it's not not the end of the world so uh, first off you want to take the shrouding off there's just these push pins uh, all across here you take those off and then there's 10 millimeter bolts that go across the front of the grill here and then the headlight itself has a 10 here 10 here and then there's actually one I don't know if you'll be able to see it right back there and so uh, there's two push pins here there's a seven millimeter here and a seven millimeter here and then if you pull this back right up in here they're straight up there's two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the bumper on so once you do that and you take those out now this right here would be hard to see okay so once you pull the grill back after you've taken all the bolts out this tab right here is all you have left so what you want to do is take your flat blade and just pry that guy open and then what you'll do is you'll pull that ball socket out of that clip once you do that she'll pop right out so you just want to take that guy put it in there and then pull on the headlight when you do it and it'll pop out so we're going to go ahead I already did this side We'll go ahead and pull the pasture side out, and I'll show you how to wire that in with the LED. All right, so here we have the headlight removed. And so if your headlight's not working and you're just trying to figure out why, this is that ballast I was telling you about. And as you can see, you know, it's on the very bottom. So when all that water settles down, it all comes down here, and there's an electrical connection right here on the bottom. Of the ballast and it just gets full of water and it uh it shorts out so um this particular lens i've replaced this thing a couple times just trying to keep everything factory and uh i tried to seal it up with rtv look and you see the moisture and these things terrible uh, so what we're going to do here is take Move this factory HID first bulb. And so these are the particular LEDs that I bought. And when you're searching for these, I'll put a link in the description of these particular ones. But you search D1S. LED and so there's literally hundreds to choose from but what you're going to want to do is on your bulb here this locking collar we're going to have to move over so you just push this little tab down here 
and it's going to clamshell open up. Now, if you look right here, these are like the alignment pins. You'll have a small one and a large one. And on the factory bulb there, there's a fairly large opening here. Now, if you compare that with the LED here, you can kind of see where it needs to fall. So you move this guy over here. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do with one hand here. So you kind of do the same thing. And then, so we're going to lock this guy in. So these things, these things kind of fit very loose on here and it's kind of not ideal because it's not as tight of course as the as the factory guy but what I do because once you put this guy in there and lock it in there it's somewhat solid but still kind of loose is I take RTV and I'll put put a dab here and a large dab there and then that way when I put it in and lock it in, it'll dry up and at least hold it in place, keep it from vibrating loose, and, uh, and I actually do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then we'll check back in here in a second. Okay, real quick before I put the bulb in, just so it'll be easier for you to see, you know, part of the issue with converting this is we're no longer using the ballast to power the bulb. So what we want to do is use that same power that would power the ballast to power our um, new LED. So you just got your black and your red here. So in the factory you have this jumbo plug here which all the power comes in. You got a bunch of different wires. What I do to keep it all contained because this runs through the housing. So if you look right in the top here and you can see where our TV is try to protect it but uh, you see this yellow and black wire right here that would run over to where the, the actual ballast is and run through to power it. So this right here are the two wires that we're going to use to power our LED. So there's a yellow and a black. The black is the ground, the yellow is actually our power for our, our uh, ballast. So we're going to just basically cut this and solder. You could probably butt splice it if you want. That stuff, because uh, there is moisture in here, might kind of start to go bad over time so I like to heat shrink it and solder it so you don't have any problems um, but these are your two wires here for power and I'll show you that here in a second okay so we got the bulb in there nice and secure she's locked in uh, and this is actually what come up from the ballast up to the bulb we don't need this anymore so you can actually just tuck that in there and then um, these are those two wires. If you look where they run up in there, I just take uh, your cutters, stick them in there, and just cut them off as low as you can down here. That way, you get yourself plenty of lead. You can pull it out here so you have plenty to work with. And so, now what we're going to do is uh, strip these guys back and solder and heat shrink. So, now um, anyways, so yellow is your power. So we'll go ahead and take your strippers. I'm going to strip both these guys back. Then on your LED module, you have your black, which is ground, red, which is your power. So we're going to strip both of these guys. Like I said, you can butt splice these if you want, but you don't want to have to be dealing with this anymore, so I recommend you solder and heat shrink them. Two pieces of heat shrink. Don't 
forget to put that over there before you solder it, and you'll be kicking yourself. Size of heat shrink over there. Okay. Once you do that, you can just push everything back into the housing here and take your cover cover right back on just like the factory and voila all right so after you've done that what I always like to do before I put it all back together just to make sure everything worked okay go ahead and plug her in just set your headlight up there make sure it doesn't fall and then go ahead and get your remote out of your pocket because if you use your unlock it should actually turn this on so for whatever reason, it's still not working. But um, it's a good thing we didn't put it back together. But quick check though is typically if the ballast got shorted out, it's possible that it could uh, have blown the fuse. So we'll check that before we put it back together and come back to this. So, all right. So back over here at the fuse box. Um, what we're looking for is the. And my particular one is number 11, low HDLP LT. And then you got the same one for the right. That should be the right. So number 16, 20 amp. So we go over here, number 16. So that would be this guy right here. Alright, sure enough, she's blown. That's a good thing. Just give us a spare fuse here. Put a new 20 amp in there. Let's go give us a try again. Aha! I like it. So we are good to go. So now I can go ahead and put this thing back together.